before I run the code, I'm going to have to load a couple libraries. First of all, the tidy R library is the one that's going to enable me to use the pivot longer function. So let's load that. And then the read R function is the one that allows us to read the data in in the form of a tibble. So let's go ahead and do that and read in a file from the internet that contains the data that I was using in the example. So if I click here on the global environment, I can see that the data are arranged in the way that I said makes made sense for a lab notebook or an Excel spreadsheet where the block is in the rows and the columns are, are for each of the colors of the light that were shining on the cockroach's eye. So if I want to um, do this conversion, here is the line. So here's the pivot longer function. The ERG tibble is the um, data frame or tibble that I'm going to perform the operation on. Then here's where I create a vector and pass it in to the columns argument. Uh, that's how I tell it which columns it's going to collapse. And then the name light color is the name of the column where I'm going to put the column names to create um, its uh, column. And then when I stack up the values that are in the table, they're going to get stacked up in a column that's called response voltage. So let's go ahead and do this and um, I can execute the view command instead of going over to the global environment to click. And now we can see what the tidy ERG table looks like. So here we can see the light color, which in this table was the columns, uh, got stacked up. And then the block, uh, which was the rows, uh, got repeated. So what we've done is we formed every combination of block and light color in these two columns. And then for the intersection of those in this table here, we have a value in the response voltage column. It's also possible to use the pivot wider function to basically undo the tidying process, or I guess we could say to untidy the data. This doesn't seem like it would make much sense from the standpoint of doing a statistical or other sort of analysis, but if you were needing to do some more data entry, it's a good way after working with the data to put it back in the sort of form that we said made more sense to have in an Excel file or a lab notebook. So if you want to do this reverse transformation, there's a a function called pivot wider, which is sort of the opposite of pivot longer. Once again, the first argument is the data frame. And now you say where the column names sh should come from. So that's the names from, which is sort of the opposite of names to, because it basically undoes that. And then the values from argument is which column the values are going to come from. And those are the ones that will be unstacked and then distributed among the new table. So let's go ahead and run that and then view it. And here I can see if I compare the wide table with my original table, they're basically the same. So I've undone the process of tidying or perhaps we could say we've untidied the data. If I were going to do some additional editing, then I could save these data from this wide tibble that I just created using the write underscore CSV function. And here's where I specify the file name and some other things about how I would like to, it to generate the CSV file. If I go ahead and execute this command, then I can go to my default directory, which in this case is my home directory. And I can see that the file is here and I can open it up with whatever my favorite CSV viewing file application is. And then make edits to it if I want. As we noted in the first part of this, 
there's actually two different ways that you could turn tidy data into untidy data. The one, to, the one case where the light colors were all of the columns, but we could also have the blocks be the columns. So if we untidy it in the direction uh, to make the blocks the column, we could get the data in the other form. And if I take a look at that, I will see this is indeed the, the form where the rows are formed from the colors and the columns are formed from the block instead of the other way around. 